Yeah. Yo, what up, guys? It's your boy DJ J Steezy. DJ Jedi. And today's special guest we got <clears throat> the one and only OG, OG Playboy. Play, bro. Play Beezy. What's good. What's good? Up, man? How's it going, How's bro? What's going on? What's going on? Man? What's going on? How you doing with this uh, weird ass weather? I thought it'd oh, be like man. freezing, freezing, and <laughs> nah, it's all right, especially it's all right. you coming. Where, where yeah, you're in Colorado. Colorado. So weird. I was out there in Colorado for a minute, but now what's the what's the? I mean, and I've never been out there, but I'm sure a couple of people out there have. But what is the fucking difference in the coldness? Like, what is? I mean, compared? I mean, to our little what? Like two weeks of. <laughs> uh, well, it gets negative, like negative ten. We uh, you're talking about like a blizzard outside, food, so so like actual snow. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So that's the difference. <laughs> the Mexican had about, got, about got it the valley. <laughs> <laughs> about yeah. twenty inches of snow, dog. So yeah. All right. So what's going on, Play? What's going on? What's going on? Talk to hey, you. man. So, um, it's people that don't know, come on, OG Playboy, man. You know, Imperial Valley on. You know, um, yeah, yeah. How long you been in the music game, man? Uh, like, put out professionally? Professionally. Um, 2005, though. 2003, actually. 2003. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. And uh, who's I wanted to ask another question? Well, yeah. similar. Who's Angel One? Oh, that's same old thing. <laughs> same old thing. You already know. That's how far back we go. Mm -hmm. Fuck. Like I remember, uh, I was uh, taking a class at ABC, mm -hmm. and I was gonna go by Rich One uh, when I was rapping at the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they're like, "There's already an Angel One." I was like, "Fuck, mm -hmm. like, never mind." <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That's right. I never thought I would meet the. That's the, the old. Guy. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's yeah. the old school throwback. That's the shit. All right. So you started back in two thousand three. Um, that's when I got. That's when I started working with Low Pro. Yeah, like professional. Then that's when you got. That's when you got started. Yeah, started, started working with him, and then we ended up working on my album. And two thousand five, we got released. So yeah. Okay. So that's when two thousand three. You got officially got signed to Low Pro, right? Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah. And part, and part, of, part of that, how, how long you been doing it? Just fucking with music. Yeah, in general. Yeah, probably like. 99, 2000, probably way mm. farther than that. And I'm, I'm sorry to cut you off, but you were going to give a shout out? <clears throat> um, damn, I wasn't, I, I don't remember. But anyways, <laughs> <laughs> I always do that shit. <laughs> and then the reason, oh, the reason I do it, you know. everyone's always like, yeah, this guy rushes the interview. No, the reason I do it is because I forget what I'm going to ask. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> this is like, my turn, my turn. Yeah. But sorry, man. <laughs> it's all good. We'll come back. Yeah, we'll, we'll come Tomorrow. back to me. Yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> After the interview, just a thought, you know, that went in and went out, I guess. But anyways, yeah, man. that's a thought. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. So, um, what was your experience like, man, on, with uh, low profile records, man? And, you know, with low profile, um, you say in the NDA way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, it just is what it is, dog. It's music. It's motherfuckers getting together, motherfuckers vibing, right. collaborating. Um, but yeah, I mean, would, would you say it's like all work or like did you guys ever just hang out? Well, dog, I mean, after? how far you want to get if you don't grind, dog? Very you know true. I mean? It's all on you, shit. Yeah. If you motherfuckers be sleeping half the time, this shit wouldn't get done, dog. So yeah, no, I was, be I was referring to like, is there a commodity outside of the business? Like, like when you guys aren't in the studio, do you, get, do oh, you guys ever kick in? Come shit? on, dog. Yeah, <laughs> that's because I mean we know, but like for the viewers, it's like yeah. sometimes they're like, oh, I wonder if they do hang out afterwards. And oh yeah, bro. come on, how uh, you gonna have a motherfucker? You, like, you willing to stay on the track? You you down to die for it? Right. And, and like how some people might ask, like, mm -hmm. does play really smoke? Let me tell you guys, play really smokes. Yeah. <laughs> it's not just in the songs. Nah, man, <laughs> it really smokes. Yeah, man. So, and uh, shout out to homeboy who came through with the, both of you motherfuckers came through with the fire shit. Oh yeah, 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 yeah definitely, you. man, definitely. Gotcha. Yeah, so um, so low pro. So you were signed to low pro for how long? How, how many albums did you drop uh, for low pro? First, we signed a we we had one album release contract, and then uh, uh -huh. it was gonna be five years after that. Oh, okay. But I I got into some bullshit and uh, ended up not being able to come through, and uh, actually didn't release again. But we had a whole bunch of unreleased material already, dog. So. So uh, we, he had enough to put another album out. Uh -huh. you know what I mean? mm -hmm. Oh, so you were very consistent. Well, there was a lot of shit that was already recorded, but they were for other albums. Oh, but yeah. I should, I had to come through on another another five albums. So that was the uh, contract we were gonna sign. Uh -huh. And um, well, 
because of some shit I did, you know what I'm saying? Motherfucker wasn't able to come through. That's what I'm talking about. So, all right. Yeah, man, so, you know, for people that don't know, man, because, you know, like I said, there's some, there's some people that, like, for our viewers, you know, I know you got features from... Crazy um, Yeah, features. man, you know, your, your actual lineup, your, you know, your whole... Catalog. Catalog, bro. You know, it's like, it's literally legit, you know what I mean? Boy. This guy right here, man... This guy spits some, some fire, let me mm. tell you. But um, but yeah, man, you know, go to let them know, man. Uh, what was see. a couple artists you worked with? Uh, you, you, know, you have to say anyone recent if you don't want to, because I know that's the price for the album. But yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if in the past, well, just the same people I fuck with. Um, I usually don't have a, a big circle of people that I do uh, fuck with because I like you know what I'm saying I like to stay real and keep my shit right, right, right. I mean ain't nothing wrong with you know being all over the place shit that's what it's about dog but mm -hmm. I like to stay more on my shit yeah um, keep my shit in, in my own circle you know what I mean yeah. so that's why I only fuck with the select few and shit but n not that I got anything against anybody you know what I'm saying yeah. shout out to everybody doing theirs dog get yeah. yours uh -huh. you know what I mean yeah man yeah, it's a uh Highs and lows of the business. You win some, you lose some shit. You know, it's life, dog. It's like anything else. Yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? Some some people don't even hit the first time around, dog. So, you know what I mean? Imagine how hard it is for them. them some people that stay consistent try to drop a million albums. And it never it never works out. Like, you know, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you've been in the game for, uh, for quite a while. I mean, uh, when you started off... I, mean, I don't want to give out your age and shit, but like you were still slanging CDs and stuff like that. Um, what was like your like tr the transitioning from just doing it online? Because I know sometimes we're like, how the fuck do the people put it on there? Or was it all done through a distributor? Or um, what do you mean? Like when when you upload the song like to Spotify and like oh yeah, like, yeah that well, transition through, um, from being out you know yeah like out on the streets like backpack like, uh, CDs. What's well, the the that physical game is basically dead, dog. Yeah. You know what I mean? They, the uh, where the money's at is in the streaming, dog. You gotta have streams. You gotta be able to sell down digital downloads and streams and all that. So, because that's where the money's at. Now. Yeah, man. Um. I know. Shout out to Lupe, man. Shout out to Big Swisher. You know, Swisher, Swisher, know man. That's right. You, know, you, you got him on some tracks. Oh, fuck out. Yeah, yeah, man. So, um. Uh, Hey, going back to Low Profile Records, man, um, that album you dropped, I remember going to San Bernardino Swap Me, Derek, to go pick that shit up. Hey, uh, man, you know what they had in Swap Me? It's all across the nation, dog. Yeah, man. They so had I, just, I remember my boy calling me from New York, like, hey, dog, I'm at the Swap Me, fool, and your album is right here, dog. All right. I'm like, go to Walmart, too, motherfucker. Yeah. It's going right, <laughs> to be right there, dog. Yeah, yeah, so I was out in San Bernardino, man, and uh, I remember walking into, walking into the Swap Me. San Bernardino or uh, well, the Waterman swap me to be exact man yeah. I walk in I uh, see you know I go to the you know always sounds those fucking burn CDs remember oh, they're all in those club mixes <laughs> 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 yeah so um, I end up walking in man and it's like hey, I go hey man I go where's the where's the low profile music and he goes he goes oh it's all that section right there and I was like I was like hey man let me get that OG Playboy and he goes hey man he goes that shit's fire he goes that shit you know, that shit bumps. Yeah, and I yeah. said, I go, I go, yeah, man. I go, we're from, we're from the same place. I go, we come out of the Imperial Valley. Yeah. And he's like, oh, he goes, that's what's up, that's what's up. And I remember popping in that CD, man. Fuck. I did not that, skip, I did not skip one song. One, that album, not. Every, every song on that, on every, that album. Every joint on that motherfucker. Yeah, yeah man. It's like, you got royalty, you got. Well, he um, was, the, he was, the, he was the, the mastermind, basically. Like, right, the mastermind. Putting shit together. Making it happen. Yeah, he's a mastermind. He's, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? He, 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 he's the brains behind the operation yeah. and motherfuckers be getting down yeah. and he says, you know what? It needs this. Yeah. Well, you know, let's go back. Let's hear that shit. We, we listen to that motherfucker on the way to LA every day right. mm. for hours, dog. Yeah. And he'd be like, yo, it's missing something. Like, we need to get this. We need to get somebody on the track. Right. We'll get Sancho on there to get that full fucking kill it. I was like, all right. My, my favorite collab was with Roscoe. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, that shit. I, I, yeah, that one was, of the homes uh, I just that was through fingers too. right there. Shout out to fingers. One of the homes had just passed, and just listening to that song, going through that shit. Yeah, at yeah. that time, it's just like, fuck, dude. You're too hit, young to die, dog. And, and I'm glad that shit. Uh, people heard that. A lot of people got at me about that. Yeah, definitely. Were like, yo, that like track top. right there is like a. 
some different shit, dog. Like, I yeah. be, I be really related to that shit, like for real, for real. Yeah, yeah, man. You know, it was just like, like I said, that whole album. I did not skip one song, man. Every and that's what it's album. about, man. What was yeah. I telling you? I said I'm trying to make one album to just push play uh, from beginning to end, dog. Yeah, you know, and um, back to royalty, man. You know, low profile. Shout records. out to the homeboy. Yeah, shout out to royalty. Yeah, going back to low him, man, records. I think he gave he gave the he opened the way for Chicano hip hop artists, man, Chicano rappers to you and, know, and yeah, we in on the on the mainstream the, scale, yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah, because you know, it's, sure. it's, it's, definitely, definitely, it's hard for a Chicano, and, that, and for motherfuckers to say, oh, I never heard of this dude, or hey, get the fuck out of here, dog. No, he's yeah, man, man, you heard of all the all, all, yeah, man, he, yeah, he's growing up, though, especially in Southern California and the Southern states where it's mainly Latinos. And, we, you know what I'm saying, we, we we grew up listening to the SPM shit, yeah. right. and to the low profile shit, and to, you know what I'm saying, all the, all the California rappers, the Lil One and, and Lil Rob, and, and all, you know, you know what it is. Right. And um, it's just being a fucking Latino, being a Chicano, homie, yeah, that's what, you know what I'm saying, dog? no matter if you want to or not, dog, it's still, it's good fucking music, and motherfuckers hate, all oh, because it's Chicano shit, it's like, come on, dog, right. it's, it's music, culture, motherfucker, though. slap yourself. Yeah. Right. I'm saying, don't don't label that shit. Listen to that shit. Support the motherfucker. You know what I mean? You over here supporting other motherfuckers. Hey, motherfucker, support the homie, dog. Yeah. No, don't talk shit, homie. Just make it happen, dog. And how did you get get connected with royalty, man? Um, I was actually fucking with another record label, dog. Um, mm. a, a stupid little fucking wannabe record label. It was way way back. Who I was like seventeen. Right. Um. They were like, yo, we fucking will sign you and uh, we'll give you this record contract. Um, I never knew this part. And I was like, yeah, you know what the fuck? Uh-huh. Hell yeah, shit. And then uh, that week I had this magazine come from, this magazine, uh, come from L.A. It was a Chicano magazine, um, like a newspaper type deal. And the fools came and took pictures and put me on the front page, dog. Right. Me and the homie. Uh, <clears throat> and... Um, Cause we were doing our thing, dog, right. and um, they heard about it, and they were like, "Yo, we really like your music. Can we go? Can we go get you guys on some?" I was like, "Fuck yeah!" And uh, that was the first time. Shout out to that magazine. Where the fuck you are? <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember, but that was the first time. Thank you. <laughs> Shout out right. to that magazine in LA. You about to know what's up, dog? Um, yeah, they, they put me on the first time on on blast like that, dog, and then um, I sent some shit to Royal. And he was like, yo, I'm going to call you. Uh, he sent me a message saying, yo, I'm going to call you. Give, send me your number, I'll call you in five minutes, some shit like that. And he called me, he was like, yo, uh, can you come over here to SD? I'm like, yeah, I'll go to San Diego, what's up? Hell yeah, fuck y'all go to San Diego, dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, fuck out of here, I mean, it's like, I was a young motherfucker trying to get signed, and they were the, they yeah, were and still almost are, dog, the, 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 the main ones, you know what I'm saying, dog? Yeah. Like I said, fool, if you're like a Chicano in Southern California, like you knew Lil Pro, dog. Oh, uh, yeah. You knew all the California. Man. Yeah. And, and then for him to tell me that, I was like, yeah, motherfucker, I'm gonna jump. I was like, fuck, let's roll. And um, my brother took me out there, fool. My brother, I didn't even have a car yet, dog. My brother took me out there, he gave me a ride. And uh, Royal picks me up at this gas station. He's like, come on, let's roll. And, um,. We hop in, he plays his track. Dope ass track. Had Mr. Shadow on it. It was a verse from Mr. Shadow. Shout out to Mr. Shadow. Sure. Like Humble. Um And then he's like, Flow. Freestyle. I was like, what the fuck? Who mm-hmm. I froze, dog. I was like, oh shit. He asked Damn homie and I was like, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Fuck it, dog. It's either now or never. So I freestyle for homeboy and he was like Yo, let's go. We're gonna go record some shit right now. Like, you know how to rap in Spanish? I was like, shit, hell yeah. But really, I had never rapped in Spanish. Like <laughs> but I said, yeah, dog. I was yeah, like, hell yeah, 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 let's go. That's right. But I spoke Spanish. I was just not in the rap game Spanish, but yeah. I learned real quick. <laughs> <laughs> and, that was the first, and that was the first show that we came at, that I came out on basically with them uh-huh. was the Equid. Okay, yeah, yeah, I remember the track. Right. Yeah, yeah. And the Soldados album. Right. That was dope. Yeah, yeah, that was it. What was that relationship like? Because like, um, I've never met them either, 
But I've always wondered, like, because I've seen them on other podcasts and shit like that. They seem pretty oh, funny as fuck, yeah. dude. <laughs> Shout I mean, out to Aquid right quick. Shout out to Aquid. Yeah. One time. Um, I mean, they're just basically like other, pe- like everybody else. Dog. Like, I, I'm not real. Like, I don't like to judge characters with. Uh-huh. I like to keep it real player, dog. Like, let's just let people be who the fuck they want to be. You know what I'm saying? I really don't. If you are who you are, with yeah. in person or behind camera, whatever the fuck you are, that's your beef, dog. That's your deal. You know what uh-huh. I'm saying? But as long as you keep it 100 in front of me, dog, and your, your shit is always on point, like I'm always gonna be cool as fuck, dog. That's the we be talking. That's the we. It's a good <laughs> shit. It's loud. That we be talking. You know it's loud when we're later in the interview. <laughs> Look at you. I, you know it's loud when you're rocking back and forth <laughs> <laughs> like this. Like you need a you need a fucking uh, rug or something. I'm, I'm still remembering the the tracks you were playing earlier. That's what it was, know, man. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So he was actually before we we jumped on. He was starting. He was showing us some some tracks that. You know, indeed, I was going to be dropping pretty yeah. soon, right? Oh, that shit's going to be hot. What's that? What's that? It's going to be fire, dog. This year or 2021? It's going to be 2021 for sure. All right. Okay. But it's going to be fucking fire. Man. I got some tracks, fool. <laughs> I don't even want to... No, it's going to be a surprise, dog. They're going to love that shit. They're going to yeah, love man. that shit. From what he showed us, man, he got... He got, he got There's some, some shit for everybody right there. He got right some heavy there. hitters on there, too. And, and ain't nobody tr- And they don't even Trying too hard It just is what it is dog. Yeah, yeah, it's man. good fucking music dog. You know yeah, what I'm saying you, That hood music You got the You got, you got Swish on there too right Oh yeah, I was Hell yeah coach. Shout out to my brother dog. I'm yeah. saying yeah, That man. motherfucker You know what I'm saying he, he always gonna be on my shit dog. That's my motherfucking Road dog So he's gonna be on my shit For sure uh, Hey so um, Okay so after Low Pro It was like Is that when you started Hood music Yeah 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 like in 2007 2007 alright I said fuck it I'm gonna do me uh, and how was that relationship with Royal like were you guys cool oh Royal's right? always been hella supportive dog he's always been like hey homie do your thing dog like, that's what's up man yeah. do you need people thing. like that around you yeah. like definitely he, always, he never hated not once dog yeah cause I, I he, don't always, like, he always hit me up was like yo yeah, I need some tracks. Like, I need some tracks from you. What's up? When are you gonna hook me up? Right. Uh, and, and, and then he was, I see you're doing your thing, motherfucker. Like, that's cool. You know what I'm saying? Keep keep at it. So shout out to Roll one time for not being no hey nas. Always keeping it 100 with a player for sure. Okay. That's what's up, man. Hell yeah, yeah. So um, so that transition from being under a label to going starting your starting own. your own label. How was that transition, man? Right it's way more harder than motherfucking looks. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know what it is, dog. But oh, yeah. as far as the legal, if you want to be real in this world, you got to be legal in this shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Your your shit, your, your record label got to be, everything got to be on point with your legal shit. Because yeah. now motherfuckers will take you for anything that they can get, dog. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, so you always got to be 100 with your paperwork and all that shit. Yeah. So with hood music, man, you know, your catalog on hood music, and once again, long ass catalog, man. You know, so it's just like it's just like it seems like that. You're constantly in the studio, constantly working, constantly doing that. And, music, and that's man. that's a given, though. I I always stay working on shit. Right. Always, I'm never straight from it. You know what I'm saying? There, there might have been some times where I did it was like, man, fuck this. Ain't nobody doing this shit. Right. And then I'd be like, man, fuck that. I need to be doing that shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> Right away, yeah. and I jump on it back again, dog. And I'm here, and I'm fucking alive, and I'm taking, and motherfucking shit is gonna drop. Shit is gonna get fucking real, dog. Now back to the transition, man, from from going to selling CDs and digital, you know, going to digital, man. To the demographic completely changed, man, because you know it's just like, now it's like because really I wasn't worried about the dig- the digital part. I mean the physical because mm-hmm. it it's it, it's been transitioning, dog. Right. Yeah. So now to a point where, like, is there even a CD section at Walmart or some shit? I don't go to uh, I don't know, right? Yeah. Does anybody know? Uh-huh. Dog, Does nobody goes to look for CDs, dog. <laughs> no, because you can go on Spotify and listen to the whole album, download it, one click. Right. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. The, the stream game is the music business, like, completely, dog. As far as publishing and all that, the streaming it, game is a major player. And it's dope, it's dope how, you know, when it comes to streams, your streams, they're actually getting, you know, 
it breaks it down, man, of you know, into a graph Check of it. what what people <clears throat> are listening, to, you know, people listening to the Philippines, yeah, you know, and Philippine people. Oh there. my boy, yeah, I can show you every code, uh, every country code that my shit gets played on, right. and I'm talking about millions of streams, dog, like the countries you never heard of, and just it's a trip. Huh? <laughs> it's just millions of streams, like like all of a sudden, dog, and that shit's hella hella dope for that shit. Yeah, yeah, man. yeah. It's just like it, it completely changes the game, man, because of the Cause, power, yeah. I mean, but that's, internet, that's where the money's at, though. There's no, there's really no more buying shit. Like, yeah. motherfuckers don't want to buy shit. Why are you gonna buy an album you can hear for free on Spotify? As yeah. long as you pay your premium, you're good. Yeah. yeah, and it costs less than what an actual album costs in a month yeah. that you pay for. Like, come on, dog. Yeah. Now, um, do you distribute yourself, man, or do you have do you have a I have a. I work with Empire Distribution. Oh, okay. Uh, through my boy uh, Young Cabby Cabby RX Street Vibe Shout out to Young Cabby hey. Street Vibe Music Empire Distro You know what it is Alright Yeah man Because Sometimes pushing that shit yourself man Nah And my boy My boy Cabby <laughs> Check it I know my boy Cabby uh, Before he even got on his, In this Distribution game he was he was a motherfucking uh he was a major player in that Southwest music you know what I'm saying though like, I know you got I know you motherfuckers heard of that strong arm affiliated and all that shit yeah. that's my boy Cabby right there right. and um, me and him been knowing each other since like 2001 dog like 2002 type of shit right. like I've been knowing homeboy for a minute now dog for a long minute long long minute like. And shit, he always, always kept it 100 with me. So when he when he came at me about the distribution shit, I was like, yeah, fuck yeah. You know what I mean? I'm 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 ready to I'm ready to get legit with this music label, dog. So yeah. We was on it. He he put me up on game, and I've been on since uh, with Empire Distribution. That's since 2012, I think. Oh shit. Uh, yeah, 2012. He gave me a label deal with it. And I came through, you know what I'm saying? I've been, I've been, I think lately it's been a little bit more than before, but yeah, uh, shit is coming through as long as it keeps yeah. coming through and, and we stay on it. And I think it's just gonna even grow, man. I'm telling you, with these tracks that he played for us, oh, yeah, yeah, dude, you know, I, I see you, I see you hitting a million streams everywhere, man. Oh, yeah, you know, it's just that's how that's how hard this shit's gonna be. Boy, yeah. cause it, psh, been working on that album for a long minute now, dog. Uh, like I'm talking about maybe like almost seven years, eight years, another, nine years. Another collab I wanted to ask about that I kind of asked earlier off camera with Sancha. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Sancha, um, what about it, though? How how was that? Like, cause a lot of people like uh, I don't know if you heard, but like I thought she was like a rapper for another rapper as well. Like maybe she's like a rapper two for checks. Nah, nah. Get a two checks. <laughs> Nah, she uh. <laughs> we can't go into it. All right, but she, I'll just uh, throw it out there. Shout out to homegirl Miss Sancha. Hey. Yeah, everybody's gonna see, dog. She's gonna surprise everybody with this shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's what she's said. dope as fuck. She's a dope fucking artist. One of the first ones, actually, to be uh, way before any of the waves that are out now. Yeah. Right. She was out there playing yeah, that nasty man. freak music. The, you know what I'm one saying? One of the dog? first. One of the first. Yeah. You know some of that freak music that motherfucking everybody want to hear. All right. She Especially was a the lady. She, be, you know she was like the, I was like the Trina of Chicanas, you know. Yeah, it, yeah, come on, dog. Right. She yeah. was the like basically in California. She was one of the dopest. Yeah. Okay. The yeah. dopest delivery, fucking on point. Mm -hmm. She was one of the dopest. It still is one of the dopest for sure. Shout out to Miss Sancha. Album dropping soon. Oh, yeah. Get that motherfucker. Yeah, I did. I did see that. I see. It. They just did be, be looking too. forward to see play yeah. Beezy and Miss Sancho again. I, I was wanting to check, want to check her out in the studio, like when she goes in and, and gets all into it. But I'd probably be distracted. <laughs> 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 that yeah, yeah, yeah that's not that good. That's not that good. We'll be letting you know. <laughs> yeah, man. So, <laughs> so another project with Sancho, huh? Yeah, yeah. We we got some going. Um, I got a track for her. Um, we're going to put out, and it's going to be on a new album. It's just going to be fire, dog. Like, always, it's going to be fire. As anybody in the game right now that you want to work with, man, that is like, oh, damn, man, I want to work I, with I, I want to work with a lot of people, dog. Uh, but I just want to get things done. You know what I mean? Right. I want to get shit done. And if, it, and if that, that, that shit ain't in the way as I'm doing shit, then they got, I'm cool. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'm, but I'm going to get shit done, bro. Now, for someone, like, because if we give advice, 
you know how it goes. Like you, you have to hear it from an OG, no pun intended. But for someone trying to make it in the business, uh, what would you give ad- advice like to you? Aggressive, guy? homie. Go like no, nah, don't get like no one shot. Just <laughs> he uh, means like be, aggressive, be hungry. <laughs> go out there and get that shit. Uh, if you're a hungry motherfucker, go out there and get it. And if whoever in your way, knock them the fuck out, dog, and, right. and, and get your shit up. Knock on the door, they don't answer. Knock that shit down, right? Hang on that motherfucker. <laughs> I would have used another Be door. aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> I would have went through the window. <laughs> Look, uh, there's, there's, in this city alone, there's 20 million motherfuckers who want to make it. Everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Their grandmama, their mama, their aunts, their cousins. Everybody want to be a rapper, though. Or on TikTok. On, or <laughs> TikTok. <laughs> TikTok well, uh, Everybody want to be something on, something digital. Right. Especially now that you can't, it's so easy to, you know what I mean? Motherfuckers, even if you're stupid, motherfuckers, motherfuckers will make you famous, dog. Yeah. Yep. Um, it's crazy how, like, YouTube music changed the game, too, man. Oh, yeah, really? YouTube killed the game. I mean, as far as, like... Murdered it. As far as motherfucking artists eating, YouTube... Really? For the artists. I think it's different for the artists than it would be for... Dog. For, like, for, dog. like podcasts. Yeah. YouTube murked the game, killed it, eliminated all physical fucking albums. From the people. So even even with the with the YouTube music category now, you know how they have that. You because can download, it, but it's done. only digital. Right. There ain't no buying CDs off YouTube. Yeah, but you, that, that's YouTube true, came man. out and allowed that everybody could share. So all it took is one person to buy the album for forty million motherfuckers to have it. Right. <laughs> You know what I mean, dog? And, and motherfuckers could download music from YouTube. They've been doing it since the beginning. It's like the new Napster. You know yeah, I mean? but remember, because cause I know, because for example, if you're through, you know, if you got distribution, like we got distribution through through TuneCore on, um, mm. on the Trust Me song, right? Yeah. So, for example, for that, you know, we got hit with a, with a copyright infringement, remember? Because of, we were using the Trust Me song. Do you ever have that problem? Like, we, we got, we have one fucking song. And we used it in one of our episodes, like live on YouTube or Facebook. Was it Facebook? Was it a beat that was already out there? No, it was ours. It was we got flagged for it. <laughs> but did you release it on anything? Uh, what do you mean? Was it was it released on? Yeah, anything? it's it's on it's on it's on it's on all platforms. But, yeah, so. but we got flagged for our own. Yeah, own. even if it's your own, because you don't really? have permission. Oh shit! How do I get myself? <laughs> <laughs> and usually through distributors, you oh, uh, digital shit, you'll never get the permission. Basically, oh man. That's crazy. They'll just always That's flag insane. you. You'll just always have to put, this is not my music. Uh, even shit. though it is my music. Even though it is my music. <laughs> it ain't my music. This is sort of not but what music. happened was, I hate you know, <laughs> What <laughs> happened was, it, nah. Man. I know, man. This is like, like, this is my music. This is, why'd you get copyright infringement? Because it's my music, but it's not my music. Wait, yeah. so can I sue me? No, you'll get flagged for it, but they won't take you off. Uh, okay. It'll stay. Right. But it'll say the name of your shit. So it really doesn't matter as long as they see it on your shit. Uh, they'll get a they'll get a stream for it. Right. Oh, okay. And that's what counts streams. Man, I, I'm still trying to figure this shit out. It's like yeah, yeah. yeah well, the, streams is algorithms to you know to demographics, likes and shares and you know yeah. so, but um, but yeah, man. So I think Spotify, man. Spotify is one of the one of the biggest ones, man. Spotify definitely is one of the biggest ones, dog. But for an artist, what would be like the ble- the best? Platform? Apple pays more. Apple pays more. For right. Yeah, yeah. Right. You know, what I mean, like, what kind of advice can you give to, like, say, an artist coming up? Is just like, you know, because there's a lot of like I said, no, there's the a lot of distributors online that says, "Oh, come with us," and you know, is it? And you know what? Um, hope you get lucky and you get a hit. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Hope you get lucky. Yeah. With your distributor, and you get a hit, and they want to fuck with you on a major scale. That's what it's all about, you know what I mean? Always evolving, advancing, yeah. you know, becoming bigger and better. Yeah. It's crazy, huh? It's like back in the days, like, wow, well, how many units did you put out? Put out yeah, yeah, out now, oh, now we put 4,500. <laughs> you know, oh, yeah. 4,500? Damn. So, yeah, that's even a, that's a lot, though, too. And then. Right. Oh, we pushed ninety five hundred units. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, there's fifteen thousand units that were made, and oh, there's twenty thousand units that we moved on this record, and right. And now it's like now it's like yeah, I got how many four, you got? Got, got hundred forty million. Damn, right. hundred forty million. 
Yeah. But that ain't shit compared. You know what I'm saying? And I think this too. This it, it motherfucker got a whole hundred forty million. Change, per it, track. Take, it takes a major change for like for, for the major record labels, man. You know because it's just like. Hey, well, well, they I they keep making their money because they they they. I mean, as long as they're on their game, right? They can put you out anywhere, everywhere. Yeah, but you know, like but like you're saying, like as far as like. The but Empire is the one I fuck with. Right. Empire Distribution, and the reason being is that they put you on every fucking platform, wherever the fuck. Right. From here to fucking Greenland, even if you know, shit don't play in Greenland, you still out there. Like it'll be promoted or not promoted, but I'm saying like they'll be able to find it if they look for it, yeah. mm. and that's important as fuck. Yeah. You know what I mean? Being available, your music, your shit at all point, at all time. So for a person that's that, been rapping for like a while, like what keeps you doing it motivated, or, or what what keeps you doing? <clears throat> all right, um, the reaction when I play my music to people. Um, right away, I see their face change. Anyway, like like right away, there's like a smile going on. Like right away, they're like, mm, like damn, that shit fire. You know what I'm saying? Though? Like right. I even hear them say, it, they're like, fuck, play. Like that shit's fucking bananas, fool. You're gonna fucking kill it. Uh, that right there, though. Okay. That that right there is when you motherfucking know that. Uh, you don't belong doing no regular other shit. You belong out there killing this motherfucking game, homie. Yeah. That's what I'm fucking exactly what I'm gonna do. But if you weren't doing music, what would you be doing? If I wasn't doing music, I'd... shout out to Sinaloa, to all the homies, all the capos, all the motherfucking. Oh yeah, right, 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 right. <laughs> Oh shit! Shout out, <laughs> shout out, big shout out to all motherfucking. That's what I get for going live. Shout out to the dope game coming from Mexico into the U.S. What it is? Oh shit! Well, we know he didn't vote for Trump. <laughs> <laughs> there wasn't no need to. There wasn't no need to. All right. <laughs> yeah, but um. Where do you go from that? <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't want to talk hey, about hey, that on the subject. Hey, hey, just, you want to get a, uh, We got a shout-out. For from, legal purposes, I'll just bullshit. Uh, we got a shout-out from Little Mondo. It says, what's up, Play? Hey, so that's my boy right what's there. What's happening? What's happening, hey. my boy, Little Mondo? Uh, yeah. What it is? Shout-out to the homie. Yeah, man. Um, Imperial Valley, man. Imperial Valley, you know, boy. You. Valley grown. You. Um, Valley raised. Valley knucklehead. You put the Imperial Valley on the Chicano hip hop game, man, on the on the map. I would say, and, man. and that should happen yeah. unexpected and and at a time where it was the perfect time, right? Because I don't, I can't think of right now. And you know what I'm saying? Like when I when I when I think about it, when it happened, was the perfect time. Because right. it was missing some, dog. And shout out to my homie uh, Crazy Astic. He been in the game for a long hey. time. Yeah. Hey. You know that's what I mean? Tick. Shout out yeah. to Daniel Crazy Aztec. Um, that's my boy right there too, and, and he been in the game for a long time. And really, the only motherfucker I had ever heard coming yeah. out the valley, right. everybody was like Crazy yeah. Aztec. Yeah. I was like, yo, and then they were like, yeah, he's from the hood. I was like, damn, right. like from the hood, because you know what I'm saying. Grew up right there in the West Side, DC. Shout out to the West Side. Hey. Um, yeah. uh, shout out to shit. Shout out to motherfuckers getting paper. Period. You know what I'm saying? Though? That's what it's about now, nigga. Fuck where you from, homie. It's fuck how fuck how you. It's about how you living now. So, I ain't gonna lie, man. It was like a proud moment for me when I went to the swap me, man, and grabbed that CD. You were like, he, let me get that OG Playboy. Yeah, yeah man. man. It was, it was like, a proud yo, moment because it was like, what did he, he tell you? What did he tell man. you? He said he said that shit was fire, man. You know, he's like they were bumping it right there to swap me too. You know, I was just like and just to like and real talk, real talk. When it came out, the type of music that is on that album, what would you consider that music to be? Just hip hop. Just hip hop, man. Honestly, like, yeah. I mean, because you know they, you're you're labeled Chicano right. rap, right? No matter what the fuck you do, yeah. Because you are a, a cholo looking right, motherfucker. You, you, you brown skin. You bald headed cholo. You Chicano. You a Chicano mm-hmm. rapper. If you're a rapper, you're a Chicano rapper. I don't give a fuck how good you are. If you're a rapper, you're a Chicano rapper. Yeah. Not a rapper. You're automatically labeled. You're automatically labeled. I don't, but like like we we're talking about earlier, my favorite song. I, I don't even think of that as a Chicano rap song. The one with Roscoe. Yeah, yeah. like it's just a fucking hip. And that shit was fire. Song. Shout out to Fingers. Shout out to Fingers and Roscoe for making that shit. DPG. Yeah. yeah, man. You know, it's like 
it's just it's just it's just crazy how you know like you said it, get, it gets labeled man you know and this is like so and there's nothing you can do about so it. So if you ever, you know, I mean, it's like, okay, we. But but the reason I asked you is because a lot of people tell me the same thing over and over, and they're like, "Yo, I don't even consider you like one of these cholo rappers." <laughs> Just and I'm like, <laughs> oh, like I've had I've had all kinds of people tell me that same right. shit. Yo, I don't even consider you like a cholo rapper, dog. I was like, "Fuck, would you say that shit?" <laughs> but right. I mean there's music there's music, is, there's music for everything and I get it like the whole Chicano yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, they might see it just like they just want to put their hood on and that's it but yours is like uh, I'm not saying you didn't but yours was a lot of like storytelling there was a lot of like yeah, yeah. make you think there's, you can tell there was there's a lot of time to, to get you in the zone it. dog so, you know um, what I'm saying I was walking in the club like that one with Sancho uh, mm. step, step up in the club mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying Look, like motherfuckers were like when I heard that one man yeah. I was just like what? You know, I was like, damn. You know, it's just like, and straight bangers, dog. Bangers. Straight bangers. You know, uh, BMF like, had a lot of uh, beats on there. Shout out to BMF. Steve Vicious. Oh, Steve Vicious, yeah. damn. Um, yeah. Fingers had a lot of production on there. Shout, Shout out to, to Fingers, fingers man. Yeah. Uh, Creator. Right. Uh, Creator had a lot of beats on there. I don't know if you know who Creator is, but uh, Homeboy had a lot of beats on there. Not a lot, but a few. Uh, and then, of course, you also dabbled in making beats. On that right? one, I didn't, dog. Since it was my first album, you know, mm-hmm. Roy wanted it to be the one. You okay. know what I mean? When he wanted that shit to be the one. Wow. Like that. We were expecting that uh, Thug Romance one to be fucking the one with Sancho. Mm. Where he sings on the hook. Right. Yeah, we were expecting that one to bang because that shit's... Even the beat is banging, dog. And the whole little story behind it, it's like, fuck. Hold on. Said I'm looking. Is that that one? No, no, that's that's a different one. That's a different one. Yeah, that one, that one's bad. I'm telling you, man, the, the whole the whole album was just so like, that special type yeah, of lady. Yeah, 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 shout out to Creator. Shout out to <laughs> Big Capone on that one. Oh, that's right, Big Capone on that one. Right, man. Shout out yeah. to Big Capone. Yeah, man, but yeah, it's just you know your music, man. Just all from career to you know from the beginning to now. Yeah, it's yeah. Just, it's we've it's talked a lot about how, how it makes us makes us feel. But what what music put you on? Like, what did you listen to growing up that made you want to like? This is all I want to do. I listen to a lot of music. I listen to a lot of Tupac. I was a, a Tupac fan early on, dog, because of my brothers, cool. my big brother P. Shout out to Pancho, hey. OJ. Um, my big brother Pancho. He used to buy them CDs all the time. He used to have hundreds of CDs. I would always jack his CDs. <laughs> and he'd come home, he'd whip my ass, and he'd take his CD back. <laughs> but I always took him, no matter what. Like, I always, need, always needed to hear that music, dog. That, that shit fucked with me. Heavy. And then growing up, what kind of music, like, your family Everything, to? everything. Everything from No Limit to the West Coast, uh, all of Dr. Dre shit, Tupac, Snoop Dogg, all the motherfucking shit. That's what's up. So it was always playing in the It house. was always the West Coast, the classic yeah. West Coast shit, the Ice Cube, the Warren G, the DJ Quick. All that shit was always playing, Too Short, right. all the time. And, and my brother say, had all those albums. And what made you say, um, I'm going to be a rapper? Yeah, I Nothing, I, I just, one day I pushed record on the thing and I had this beat playing. Right. And, uh. I learned that the stereo had a little square in the corner with a mic on it, dog. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, damn, I was like maybe 12. Right. I was like maybe 12. Yeah, like 12. And I, pushed, I put a CD on top and uh, put in a blank tape. It was uh, somebody's tape from the house, but I put little papers in the corner. You put little papers in the corners. No idea what we went through. You put little papers in the corners, and it let you record on the cassette. Right. It let you record over what was there. Yeah. You fucked up someone's album. Yep. He was yeah. He was making his own tracks on. Fuck. That's a good way to get a blank tape if you didn't know where to get a blank tape. Dang. Yeah. I was on the game. I'm telling you. Very, very early. And how was it when you first heard your voice? Was it like, ah! That's what I said. I was like, damn. It sounded like a little chipmunk, but <laughs> but I was like, damn, it's a dope-ass chipmunk. It's a dope-ass chipmunk. 
so I, I just started playing beats. I started going to the the local record store. I don't know if you guys remember Fat Beats. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. Main Street. Oh yeah. shit! Shout out to Fat Beats. The fucking if it wasn't for Fat Beats or the other record stores, dog, like I, I would have never fucked with the music. Cause that's where that's where I went and got all my shit. I would buy my instrumentals. I would buy the actual single, mm. instrumental album. Yeah. yeah, take it on, put it in the thing, press play, record, and boom, in the fucking corner, dog. Just rapping, rapping into the fucking corner as it was recording. And then when I played it back, that was me on there. Uh. And that's what made me want to fucking do it, dog. And then me and the homies, we did a little bit of, uh, we did some neighborhood raps, just fucking shooting the shit, bullshitting, and uh, a lot of people. I had already had a, I made my first album, like you said earlier, the Angel One shit. I made an album called the Angel One, the VI Records or whatever the fuck. And a lot of people got, a lot of people got a hold of it. It went everywhere, though. A lot of people were like, yo, you're that dude, you're that dude who raps that track. I'm like, yeah, a dope ass track I, I think but. I heard that name in 2002 2000 yeah it was 2002 when I first heard Angel One yeah people yeah. were stealing the CDs from each other <laughs> <laughs> back in the day if you had a, you know the blank records that you would record with all the favorite tracks oh yeah I didn't know that those shit were getting jacked up in the <laughs> <laughs> that shit was getting jacked left and right so a lot of people hit me up they're like yo I heard your track at a party Fool, that shit was banging I was like Damn. So I was kind of just like, yeah, I'm going to make some more. Right. And I just kept making it. Just kept making them, making them. Yeah. And I uh, started fucking with that little record label I was telling you. Mm. And then uh, it got me in contact with a whole bunch of other people. Like a lot of dudes from New Mexico I, I used to know from the hip-hop scene out there. 505 Records. Uh, Mr. X. And a lot of people from California. Lot, just from everywhere right. and it got me in contact in the digital world it started in the digital shit AOL sending emails with tracks oh shit you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> shout out to dial up dial uh, for you motherfuckers that don't know <laughs> dial up was a thing was back in the real. day <laughs> you, you had to have a phone at your house if you didn't have a phone you didn't have internet yeah. They're gonna be on the phone hey, at the same time. <laughs> uh, my little mother, right away, he says, "I still got that album, Angel One." <laughs> <laughs> he still got that album. Yeah, it's super old, dog. Yeah, yeah, I need, a, I need to copy that. <laughs> it's super yeah. old, dog. I have it. I have it. I think. Yeah. I have it. It's crazy, man. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, all right. Besides all this pandemic shit, man. Oh man. You know. Hopefully things turn around for 2021. Yeah, man. hopefully, dog. They uh, will. They will. Things are already getting yeah. better. Looking for, looking to uh, rock any shows this for the 2021 mm. year? What about something digital, like a, a live stream? Would you be down to do something like that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, most definitely. Even even live in person shit. We got to get we get out there and get this money. You ain't going to get it self, dog. So motherfuckers got to get out there and be on the grind. Uh, Fuck this COVID shit. Motherfuckers got to eat. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. yeah, so um, so shout out to everybody, man. You know your 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 platforms where you get your music. You know your Instagram. Let them know. Let them know. Yeah, let Go on know, anything man. and everything. OG, Playboy, Hood Music. Right. Um, shit, look it up real soon. There's gonna be a lot of good fucking things coming out. A lot of a lot of dope ass tracks. And download on Apple Music. Yeah, <laughs> yeah please. Yeah, so OG Playboy, Apple <laughs> Music, Spotify. Spotify, shit, on everything that you can, do a motherfucking player a favor and make you that on, shit you go. You on Tidal too? So? Are you on Tidal? Yeah, it's on Tidal. It's, it's on, on everything. Title. It's on every platform. That's what's up, man. But you got to spell it. It's, there's a certain way to spell it. So you got to put O dot G dot Playboy. Okay. The dot's got to be in the game. All right. It's that dot game. Yeah, dot, man. dot game, homie. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, man, well... Playboy, thanks for coming to the show, man. Yeah, shit. Man, it's, it's dope to have you, man. On the show. Keep be on the lookout for all the new shit coming. Because we got a lot of dope-ass music. We got a lot of uh, features. My homie Bullet, uh, Samuel, Scope, <laughs> um, putting out his new record. Shout out to Bullet Lope. Um, uh, you, you guys remember Bullet Lope, right? He's on some of the tracks with Lope Pro. He used to be on Low Pro as well. Yeah. 
And that's the homie from the from El Centro too. He's actually from San Diego, but he was in El Centro when he was younger. And mm. that's when I that's when I met him and shit. Yeah. And yeah. man, we've been we've been rocking music for a long time, dog. And then we both came up with Lil Pro. I got signed, and then Homeboy got signed with Lil Pro as well, dog.